got a good look to it. Just dodge, dodge, dodge. See, sound effects really make things great. Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here, and welcome back to Super Hot. Yeah, I wanted to play some more of this, specifically because I saw that, in fact, they have a mode that is sword only. And I'm pretty excited about that. So let's go ahead and hit the uh, Sha Legends to go to Katana only. Ninja challenge, faster movement, no punching, use katana, no throwing, except katana, no pickups, except any katana, no shooting, period, only katana, except when you have thrown your katana. Boom. So, uh, I've actually done quite a few levels, as you can see, because I was having so much fun with this, but as I was doing it, I thought, hey, let's share it with you, dude. So, let's go ahead and jump in. We could do this as a little bit of an explanation, too, because as I was playing it, I got some cool ideas and things that I remember. Now, uh, first thing... Oh, uh, gosh, it's gonna be fun. This reminds me of a video game idea I had. Not, I don't know if years ago, I'm not sure how long ago it was. But the idea that I had was that you would be a ninja. And this ninja could move faster than bullets and the like. And the thing is, is that I there was games out there that you could be this ninja character. But, um, you couldn't necessarily, like... It, it, it didn't a lot of these bullet things let's say like the recent metal gear i guess it wasn't that recent but there was a metal gear solid game where you played a ninja character and um this ninja character did in fact have the ability to go faster than a lot of like bullets and things but it like a lot of times it doesn't make sense because as the character is moving you know they're dodging bullets and things or blocking them uh oh I totally could have sliced that. But as they were dodging them and doing some badass stuff. How did you miss me just there? Anyway, as they were doing some badass slicing and stuff, they um you know, it's like you could you can swing a sword fast enough to stop hit a bullet, but you can't like you know, but your body's not immediately igniting into flame. When you're moving so quickly. This is a cool replay. Just Anyway, so I thought, well, if somebody could stop time or slow time, then they would be able to do all the cool ninja things that we see in a lot of animes. Oh, how did I not have enough? There you go. These cool ninja things you see in animes. Uh-oh, he's going to punch me. Ha-ha. <laughs> and uh, it would make sense when they were able to dodge or cut bullets and things because... They were able to move slowly. Also, it would turn the game into more of a puzzle. I had... Okay. I'm going to take a note here and point out where that was stupid. So, but it's like it turns into more of a puzzler than it is like an action game. And that's what this feels like. Much more of a puzzle. Now, I'm going to point out why that was really annoying to me just a second ago. I'm going to have him fire a shot. Now, if you watch the bullet coming towards me, I can look at it and you will see it will actually turn red. That is a target, meaning that I have it within my ability to actually slice it as such. Now, I was annoyed because I swung the sword and I, in fact, did not cut the bullet. I believe the reason why I missed that was probably because the game, right as I swung my sword, it actually missed the bullet when the bullet started moving again. I could let that slide, I guess. That's how I could best understand it. Uh, now this one makes me feel like a, such a super ninja. Because you're just like dodging bullets down a hallway. People firing wildly. You're like, aha, I am the ninja dodger. You cannot stop me. And it's like, oh no, this one's getting too close. Ha ha. God, it's, they do a really good job of making you feel super epic as you do this. Oh, dodge that one. That one I'm missing too. That one I'm missing. This bullet that's coming from you is definitely going to be right into my path. So let's get a little closer. Perfect. The next shot will be fired from the second guy. Slowly making my way over. You know, if I move this at the right range, he's actually going to fire into this guy in front of me. Oh, please shoot him. You know what? This will work too. Throw my katana into both of them. Surprise! Haha! <laughs> oh, that was gonna 
got a good look to it. Just dodge, dodge, dodge. See, sound effects really make things great. Nice. This actually was kind of a lame throw. It like went through the first guy and then sort of like pittered down onto the next. Not as cool as I expected. Out of my way, please. Thank you. But yeah, this makes me feel like that badass ninja that I talked about. Oh, look at that bullet straight to my head. That badass ninja that I discussed that I kind of came up with as a video game idea some time ago. Where it was that, you know, that puzzler rather than the typical action-y thing that I honestly was really used to seeing. Hey, big guy. Uh, I need a sword. Thank you. Hello. Oh, in air hit. All right, we're going to scoot because there's another bullet coming. Huh. Ata! Huh. Ata! Oh, that was a cool end. That jump through the air. Wow, you know, this is this does have a really cool look to it once it's going faster. I mentioned before that it makes you look super fantastic before, but with the sword, there's a certain poeticness to it. Actually, you know what? There's poeticness to all of it. It's just it's more anime, which I am, you know, so attracted to as just a big anime fan. So, all right, got a dude there. It went right over here, too, so I'm going to check to see. All right, this guy has a gun, so I'm glad I peeked. Uh-oh. I'm glad I peeked around the corner. Now, if you guys have noticed this, the sword is ready to swing now. The moment that I can see my hand a little bit, that means I'm ready to swing. You don't have to wait till he's 100% holding the sword back in front of you, which is an important thing to note because uh, sometimes people can get close or too far away. Also, bullets, important for that. And secondary, um, oh shoot, here's another shot. Back off, back off. I, uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, that's such a cool scene. Apparently, from playing Endless, you can, um, oh, I remember what I wanted to talk about. Apparently, in playing Endless, you can do a bunch of modifiers to the game. One of the modifiers is that time doesn't move when you look around. So it's like it becomes much more puzzly. I'm going to slice that. All right. Boop. So the distance of the blade is a lot farther than I would typically expect. Um, I mean, it's it feels really far sometimes, but it's important when I pointed out how the like the bullet starts getting that little ray, red filtering effect on it. Characters get that too, so you know you have them within your sights. Oh, that's right. This is the car one. Hata! Nice. If you don't say hata slice, did it really get slit? Ooh, bang. Bang. Wow, that was a little bit closer than I typically like the bullets to go. Okay. Oh, man. So, the other thing that I'm really curious about is how hot switching works in this. Because hot switching, whilst playing the game, makes a lot of sense. See, that happened last time. There seems to be a certain distance that um, you can't actually slice uh, a bullet from but it seems to be at that angle it's like coming from a direction that is so if I like try to slice it from here so I'm gonna try to yeah I, I missed that anybody to my left no okay you're gonna fire again but I'm gonna step to the side now if somebody has a knife in real life dudes uh, don't charge them with your pistol in fact this is something I thought was fascinating. It's, uh, in real life, it's, it, people talk about how a knife is actually, oh shit. A knife, oh god, I missed that one. A knife is in fact as dangerous or more so than a gun. Um, at like 20 feet, 20. Like, I, I get the idea that a knife could be more dangerous in a close quarters combat, but this is about 20 feet. Wow, how could this be as dangerous? Now, from what I understand, um, the reason why they put it down as as dangerous is because, I'm just going to let the bullet get a little closer, is because the fact that it's really difficult to stop somebody with a 9mm who's running at you. The thought process is that an individual is going to be, I'm just moving around to make some more people show up, Anybody? Nope, you're still dying. Uh, the thought process is that the individual 
is, you know, gonna get hit by 9mm, and they won't drop. They don't drop, they get hit, and it hurts, but it's not an instantaneous knocks you off your feet. It's actually a really small amount of momentum that's transferred to your body from a bullet. Enough to pierce you, but uh, not exactly a lot in the sense of like, you know, let's say, oh, this is a beautiful scene. But not exactly a lot in the sense of like, you know, shotguns knocking you off your feet and stuff. Um, so it's an important thing to keep in mind in the relation that people talked about that the 20 foot rule was that that was about how long it took for someone to be able to aim and fire precisely into a running attacker who had a blade, uh, specifically a knife. And so, that's crazy to think about because, I mean, these guys, oh, I didn't mean to capture. Oh, well, we missed it. Oh, am I doing it again? Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna skip over this. Okay, I'm gonna jump back in just for this moment because, uh, Double, oh, I thought it was gonna be a double slice. Darn it. Super hot. Super. Anyway, what I was saying was that the, it's, you have to shoot somebody in the head as they're running at you, and that's really frightening and surprisingly difficult. So you have this situation where you gotta shoot this guy in the head right as they're running after you, and you're panicking because they're getting closer, and even when you hit them, like, in the chest, it's not gonna stop them. They still got that, you know, they're they're probably at 11 feet at that moment. You hit them in the chest, but they are still coming, and it really only takes that single stab. So, in these situations with the samurai sword, I wouldn't ar say that this is realistic, because, you know, we can slow down time and move faster than bullets and stuff. But, the idea that a bladed weapon in a close quarters combat situation is actually very useful is true. I would argue that the blade like this, being this long, is unneeded. Being that, um, I mean, think about it from this point of view. The reason why they had blades as so was to be able to cut through armor, right? That's why in Kendo, you have to hit somebody at the right points to score, I mean, the right parts of their armor to score points. And you have to do it the right technique and stuff because you had to break through a lot of armor. Super, so that's super. why I was trained that way. Super, super. I just keep capturing super, and I don't mean super. to. Anywho. So, a sword like this wouldn't necessarily make much sense. Oh, welcome to the easiest level ever when you and Katana. This is the where they introduce melee weapons. Come on, let's get it. Oh, wow, that guy caught it midair. That's pretty cool. I know, bud. Hey, what's up? Oh, I keep missing. Not that time. Uh-oh. Ha, bro. See you, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. The one kill cam I've uploaded uh, was me doing really badly. And I wanted to share that kill cam to the world because who wouldn't want to share the stupidest uploads that you could find? Now, this reminds me of 007 uh, Goldeneye. You know, where you start in the bathroom and stuff, and you have the, the this guy, just first thing that your, your first kills, he's just in the john. And I really like that they have almost an homage to that, really. Um, this is such a cool scene. God, this game is so stylistically pretty. Also, note that these are mirrors, right? But they don't reflect people. They're just like glass? It's kind of an interesting thing to see. All right, so this guy is a shotgun, and uh, that's scary. Luckily, I can dodge that. Also, something I didn't notice the first time I played, darts in the dartboard. That would be so sick to throw at the opponent. Now, speaking of throwing. Hey, where did my sword go? Excuse sir, did you, what did you do with my sword? Did the sword break? I think the sword broke. Oh, I didn't know that the swords could break from, uh... Yeah, that appears to be the set. Um, turns out that the sword broke. Oh, check it, this is a, this is a strip club. I didn't even notice this was a strip club. 
I have not really ever had the opportunity to just sort of explore this. All right, hold on. I'm just trying to get this guy to shoot this dude who's on the pole right now. There it is. All right, um. Hold on, there we go. Now this is a new mode. This mode is called team kill mode. It happens when you th accidentally destroy your sword. That worked really well. All right. Fire again, please. This guy is right in my face and it's very difficult. Please shoot again. Come, no, hit him. God damn it, you can at least hit him. Man, this guy is having a hard time shooting me. Ow! God damn it! <laughs> he just punches at him. He's like, oh, I'm tired of this. So it turns out if you throw your katana and it gets shot, it will break. Um, I assumed that this katana was like an, uh, an immortal katana. I mean, I get why I would think that because you start with only one katana. But uh, turns out that I was wrong. Anywho, hey, what's up, G? Okay, you know what, you guys? How about you all join me in the back room where I have a lot more protection, being that you guys all have to get into close quarters combat to fight me back here. That bullet was close. Coming? No? Yes, please? A little closer? Thank you. All right, there's you. Uh, okay, and the next guy should come around the corner now. There's... Oh, god damn it. Oh, come on! It did the thing again where you were able to line up, but because the way that it swung... Wait, if I don't kill him, does he still... Yeah, he still attacks me. Oh. Welcome to the most embarrassing kill. I literally had came up behind him and could stop time. Unfortunate. hey -o. Missed again. A lot of those bullets are going to hit me. Maybe I could cut this one. Woohoo! That was close. Keep moving. I'm going to throw it this time. Nice! It worked this time. One katana, please. I'm assuming there's a bullet coming from my head. There are, in fact, two bullets coming from my head. I really wish I could crouch. I feel like that would make sense in this game. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. All right, so you're still firing. Okay, you're just fired, you just fired. This bullet is now heading exactly to where I'm going to be. Now it's broken. All right, you're firing again. You're firing a huge barrage. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Oh, hi, big guy. Step to the side, okay. Where's your gun, dude? I feel like if you had a gun, you would have had your moment. Woo! Oh, come on! That little guy was just peeking out. Ugh. Damn. I don't know if this is actually the level that I got stuck on last. Interestingly, they only spawn as you kill guys. So I can do this a bunch, right? And there won't be anybody spawning. Which I think is a good tactic to uh, kind of balance the game. Here they come. Um, Alright, I'm imagining... Damn! <laughs> I was imagining a ton of bullets hitting the guy, though. Uh, yeah, I think the guy behind the counter is a good option to kill. Alright, fire again. Another shot. Alright. Excuse me, sir. You can't cut all the bullets. No matter how much you hope, <laughs> you can't get all the bullets. Ah! Well, hopefully this guy will get hit by all the bullets, because that'll be really cool. Wow, good dodge there, big guy. All right, he's going to fire again. And then now I'm going to throw my sword into him. Because goddamn, is that a cool effect. All oh, right, the guy came out from the side. Ugh. Okay, we're going to beat this one. That's... That's going to be the final bit of this episode. It's Kublai Khan slicing people to pieces with the badass samurai sword in super hot. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, that was too close. Oh, God. 
So, all right, throw and three, two, now. All right, we got him. There's a first shot. There's a second shot. There's a third shot. Scoot, scoot, scoot. All right, we're just gonna sit here for a second. Let the bullet on the left pass by. Grab the sword. Step to the right. 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 That bullet's gonna go where I am. You know, I might actually do better moving forward. Yep, doing okay. Still doing okay. Another shot. Another shot. Another shot. Dude over there is not noticeable. Alright, that bullet is going to be sliced. Whoop. Whoop. Alright, that guy's about to die from that. You just died from that. Alright. Looking around for other people's. Baseball bat. Good choice. Alright. Just checking around for more dudes. Alright, we just got that guy right now. Hey, I know you're you're on your way. Just give me a second, big guy. There we go. Now uh do me a favor and um could both of you Oh yes. Whew. We got it. Took a couple tries. This is an interesting one. Like dodging bullets behind the counter. Yeah, wow. Wow, what a inch That was a cool scene. Just I'm I'm happy about that. All right, dude. So, that was super hot katana levels first couple and uh we're going to continue playing some more. And I had a lot of fun doing it, so yeah, we're going to keep it up. And if you have any requests or certain how-to on levels, I've got all of them, so I'd be happy to walk them through with you. So let me know in the comments down below. Now, of course, if you liked yourself, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.